Hey everyone, it is Mona here, Craft Class. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. And today, we are going to make another coaster, but we'll do it right after I eat my lunch. Today we are doing a hamburger coaster, and that was submitted to the fishbowl by Candy Smiles 11 And I'm going to just give you a little sneak preview. I have it right here. It's a stacked coaster with many pieces. So you're going to actually get four to five coasters out of this project. So for our burger coaster, which is one burger, multiple coasters, um, I'm gonna use clay. And I couldn't find four of the same color at two different stores that I went to. So I took two similar colors and one's gonna be for the top bun, one will be for the bottom. And I'm gonna mix them together. So hopefully we'll be able to get a realistic looking bun out of this. So I'm just going to mix them, mix them, mix them, trying to get a bread kind of color. I thought I would need two for the top bun and two for the bottom bun, but I'm looking at it. Maybe I won't. Okay, I have mixed this pretty well, I think. And I'm going to kind of roll it into a ball. Here it is all blended and rolled up. I'm going to cut it a little unevenly because the lower part of the bun is going to be smaller than the bigger. So I'm just flattening it. So it doesn't have to be a full-size burger, but you do want it to be big enough to be able to support a glass. Okay, so here's my lower bun, and now I need to make my upper bun. Now the upper bun, I want it to have maybe a little bit more of a rounded top, but we can't have it as too much of a rounded top, otherwise um, that won't work either um, to hold a glass. So I'm going to do another half of each. Alright, this is nice and blended. Now we're going to just roll it into a ball and start squishing it down. I'm going to put those aside and I'm going to break out the brown because we need to do that for the meat. And you could do two layers of meat too, so it's like a double burger. And there's our burger patty. I think it'll fit on there just fine. I don't want these to stick together, so I'm just going to lightly do it. There we go. Now before I bake these, I'm going to take some chalk, some pastels, and I'm going to take a brown. I'm going to scrape some of it into a cup. And it's a pretty dark brown, so I'm going to add a lighter brown. This is a little bit more of a reddish brown. I'm going to mix them up, and I'm going to brush it around the edge of the burger, or the buns, just to give them that little bit of a toasted look. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over. I'm just going to do the same thing. And we're going to do the same to the top. Alright, now for the meat, I'm going to do I'm just going to leave this in here. I'm going to add a little bit of black, a little more brown. I'm going to mix that up with a thinner brush. So we want the meat to look like it's been grilled, so we're going to kind of put a little dark ring around the edge. And then we're going to work some stripes into it, as though that's what it looks like when it's been on the grill. Okay, and I'm going to put some everywhere. I just want to make sure that those stripes are a little bit darker. Okay, flip it over. Repeat on this side. Now we're going to bake these. While the buns and the meat are baking, we can work on um, the cheese and the lettuce. Okay, I've got a bright yellow and an orange. And I'm going for American cheese. So I thought the orange was too orange and the yellow was too yellow and we needed to find a good combination in between. So I'm going to try equal amounts first, see how that looks. This seems like a pretty good color to me, so I'm just going to roll it flat. I think this is quite enough, so I'm going to do another um, piece of each, equal amounts. and Mix it in with this, and, and then we're going to create our cheese square. And then I'm going to just cut it into a square. on the lettuce and the lettuce I have this bright green I'm doing two pieces of that and one pieces of this darker green 
Okay, once you have it mixed, and I don't have it mixed perfectly, and that's on purpose because I want it to have a little bit of um, different color in there. I'm going to squish it down, and I do not want it to be a perfect circle. Um, I want it to be, you know, thinner in some areas, thicker in others, but the middle needs to be basically flat so that a cup can stand on it. Curl the lettuce a little bit on the edges if you want. So now we can bake that too. So here's our top bun, and the only thing that's missing are some sesame seeds. And I'm going to use a multi-surface paint that you can actually bake in the oven. So it'll be very permanent, and you'll be able to wash it and everything as well. And you don't have to bake in the oven. If you wait 21 days, it becomes permanent too. So I'm just going to scatter some sesame seeds around the top of the bun. And I'm just using a skewer stick. So here it is all finished and all put together. You've got the bottom bun, you have your meat, and it's got the little grill marks on there, your cheese, and the lettuce, and the top bun. The bottom one works great as a coaster. The meat, perfect. The cheese, perfect. Lettuce, works. The top bun is kind of questionable. It works, but it, it has kind of a curve to it. Could you put it that way? Well, you could, but that's not going to be the most stable either. So you have at least four. If you make this flatter, you would have five. And you could have added like a smear of ketchup and mustard on here, even with the multi-surface paint, and you could have painted it on if you wanted to, just like I did with the sesame seeds. Um, you know, I didn't add a tomato or a pickle. You could go crazy if you wanted to. So you could have this sitting on your side table or your coffee table just like this, but who has a burger just sitting on their side table? So I, what I thought you could do if you wanted to, for just display purposes, is this is from the dollar store, a candlestick, and then this is just like a candle plate. You could glue that together, and if you have a doily, great. I don't usually have a lot of doilies on hand, but I have the snowflake to kind of give you an idea of what I mean. And you could put that on there, and then it kind of dresses it up a little bit. You could have that sitting on your coffee table because that would look a little bit nicer than just the burger sitting there. Okay, it's time for the fishbowl. And remember, if you want your idea in next week's fishbowl, be sure to put it in the comments below. And you always have to do it on the most recent coaster video. Alexis Dempsey Hello Kitty Coaster. All right, that's what I'm doing next week. We're going to do Hello Kitty. If you like the hamburger coaster, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you like another Coaster Friday, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you just feel like it, give me a thumbs up. That'd be great, too. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for commenting. And thank you for being a part of this every week. I will definitely see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting.